Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're on GT Sport and we're going to be doing a track guide for the FIA Nations race at Catalunya in the Group 2 cars. So this track guide I did yesterday, the lap, it was a 1 minute 33.4. Now the first two sectors were not actually very good, which we will, we'll actually see during the track guide with the um, Delta representing what we went through the first sectors on. We were quite a bit behind on the first two, but managed to really hook up the final sector. Um, I do have a potential to go a lot faster than this, but like I say, I don't really enjoy pushing time trial too much. I get a little bit bored with it. Um, I much prefer racing and qualifying, etc., in a proper FIA event. So, yeah, for this, I just got the lap pretty solid to try and give you some advice on lines and some uh, you know, inputs on the throttle and some places where you can really gain some time by taking advantage of the full track limits. Um, we're also going to point out some advice at the end of this video with regards to the strategies for this race. Now there is a number of strategies that I want to go through with you to try and give you the best opportunity to get a good result in this race. We have done two practice races which you will be able to check out on the live stream that should be on the channel now. Um, you can watch them races that I did to see them in action, two of the strategies. But there is numerous um, examples of what you can do for strategy. With regards to the brake bias for this lap, it's not shown on screen, but I did run it at minus two. I like this car running minus two around this track. It feels really drivable, really nice, and actually looks after the tires pretty equally, creating quite a nice balance between the front and rear in terms of tire wear. But let's get this lap underway. We're gonna start, obviously, we're driving the 08 Nissan. This is the car that you wanna be using for the race. It is definitely the most um, friendly car for tire wear. It's one of the best cars for the track as well, so I do advise using the 08 Nissan. So going into turn one, you're going to be looking out for the 100 board on the left-hand side, which you can see just about appearing there on the left. Now, you're going to break just short of that, just looking at your braking inputs. Now, just going in there, just before the 100 board, and you want to be fairly slow on the down. You see we downshifted from 6th to 5th, and then waited a while before 4th, and then 3rd. Very um, progressive downshift. Now, one error I made here was turning in a little bit too light, um, narrow into this corner. You can see with the green line, I would have preferred to be on that purple line. You can see actually there, as we come off the curb, and it's kind of caused a little bit of a reaction off the car. Now for this corner, that's caused us to take a weird line through there. You can see, making sure that we avoid that sausage curb, because that can unsettle the car. And I can actually see, I'm chasing the ghost behind there. That's actually started four attempts ahead of us um, I do like to do that as we see coming off the throttle at this point here and then going up into fourth gear that gives me the ability to rotate the car through the corner and get on the pound nice and early I do like to do that there as soon as I come off the throttle I up into fourth gear then back on the throttle and it rotates the car perfectly I'm um, catching up on the ghost a little bit there, but you can see braking just before the Gran Turismo board above our head there. I do like to break quite early for here. We've gone through the first sector a little bit behind, over half a tenth behind as we approach this right-hand corner. I like to hold a very na narrow line through here, try and keep it as tight to that curb as possible and get on the power as early as possible. You see on the power nice and early, rotating the car and just be careful not to understeer all the way out to the left. Um, that can lose you a bit of time, especially if you get on the grass on the left-hand side. But now into the next braking zone, we're going to use this little bit of grass on the right hand side you see that little tuft of grass there you can also use that building on the right hand side if you use a different view making sure you break just before them down into second gear and again trying to make sure your left tire skims the curb on the left hand side this will give you a nice exit getting on the power as early as possible it's very important to get on the power you can see 50 percent throttle and then 100 percent trying to get the traction and accelerating now into this very fast corner and again we turned in a little bit too early on this corner. You're going to see this is where we lose another chunk of time, probably over a tenth, maybe a tenth and a half, as we break nice and early here. But I actually turned in a little bit too early. You can see a bit too eager to get into this corner, and that's caused our left-hand tire to get very close to that green bit of astroturf, which you do not want to do. You want to follow that purple line that I showed you on screen there, which will give you a better exit up here. And again, you can see how we're having to put more steering inputs in that we than I would have liked, and we lose out to that ghost that obviously is four attempts ahead anyway at the start of the lap. But that's what I like to do to show you the lines through the corners. And again, this very fast right-hand corner, you see dabbing on the brakes, just a little dab, not too aggressively. And then onto the throttle as early as possible. You want to get your right-hand tire to almost skim the curb on the right-hand side. And then on that throttle, maximum aggression all the way out of this corner. And working your way now into the heavy braking zone for this hairpin up ahead, which we're going to use as a braking reference. We use the yellow and blue flag warning light there on the right-hand side as our braking input um, guide down through the gears and you can see at this point here we're actually nearly 
two over, pretty much two and a half temps down on our previous best of a 33.5, which shows you that we're not on a very good lap at this point. However, I managed to hook that corner up nicely, getting on the brakes perfectly, down into first gear, then back up to second gear as we gain traction up this hill now. Using the full track there, as you see from the car in front, um, looking at the lines he takes, and then just a little bit of braking input here as we're going to try and rotate it in. You see, we're not going to go aggressive on the brakes, just a little dab of trail braking, and then down to second gear, and then an early upshift. Very important to get this early upshift into third gear here as we put the maximum power down into this final tricky sector now, using the little bit of tyre marks on the track. As a braking reference, you see there's a little bit of braking goes in. Again, we're not going to put 100% braking, it's like 50% braking. Down, quickly down to second gear but we're going to go back into third gear before we get on the power you'll see into second gear a little bit of power straight up to third gear and then again on the brakes before you go over the board in above our heads there and then you're going to try and rotate the car on that purple line you see how the ghost in front has done that very nice and you can really cut some of this curb off um you have to be cautious though that you don't hit this curb awkwardly as it will spin the car but if you get it right you can bounce over that perfectly and again same thing for this corner you want to get the middle of the car right over that sausage curb and accelerate out the corner and we actually did this final sector pretty well um i think it was as fast as i could do this really um, and gained a lot of time back as you see as we go over the line on a one minute 33.4 so from being two and a half temps down on a 33.5 i actually got to the point where we could um gain a lot of time you can see our optimal is actually a 33.1 so that shows you that i think if i really did push this time trial we could get down to a 33.1 33.0 i think um but yeah for now i think this lap will do and again you can see from this line here how we turned in too early there you can see we actually got on the, the um dirt a little bit on the right hand side kicking up some dust so that shows you that we i think like i say it was about half a tenth to a tenth we lost on this first sector we could have definitely done this quite a bit faster and then it was mainly the fast chicane that we made the error on this corner was pretty nice we did this okay as we got on the power nice and early that gave us um nice traction then you see getting onto this corner you see how we skim the apex with them left hand tires and gets on the power nicely so up to this point we're actually doing quite well on the lap um we lost a bit on that first sector but this is where we lose the biggest chunk you see turning in too early hitting the astro turf and really unsettling the car and not getting the momentum out of that corner the fast right hand corner did it pretty well um no real um errors on that one but it was mainly that um fast chicane where i lost the chunk of time that probably stopped myself getting a 33.2 at least on this lap but the final sector you can see i actually quite hooked this up we're getting the rotation done really well biting it into the apex really nicely there hugging the apex almost as we go into third gear and again this is where you're going to see the advantage and really attacking these curves you can see you can really swing it in and bounce over these curves if you get it right you gain a lot of time if you get it wrong you can spin the car so just be careful with doing that um, if you want to do that on your qualifying lap but now let's talk about the strategy for this race so this race is running 19 laps and we're running times free fuel i believe it is with times nine tire wear. we're going to leave that lap running at full speed from this view just right while we talk about this so you have to use every set of tyres. Now, from our practices, what we've worked out is that you really want to take advantage of using more sets of softs. The pit lane loss from the practice races that we did yesterday, it worked out around 4.5 seconds pit lane loss. So, if you have a gap of about 5 seconds behind you, you can actually afford to pit and you will come out ahead of the car behind. This is really important to know. So, what we worked out yesterday was that it was a very good strategy that worked out i think the fastest how it will work out with traffic is another question so the fastest strategy i think was going three stints on the soft so five 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 then doing three laps on the medium and one lap on the hard obviously because the hard tire is quite a bit slower the soft tires when they're working well for the first two laps are probably two and a half to three seconds nearly quicker than the hard tire which is nearly worth a pit stop and this is why you want to probably do the you know the high amount of pit stops that you know i test out yesterday so what i found was the fastest strategy yesterday was by doing five 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 three one now what routine you do that in is down to you and also cars on the track we nearly actually made it work really well by getting rid of the hard tire uh, on the second i think it was the third stint then going on to the soft tires again and then going to the mediums at the end so yeah it's all about looking at track positioning we're working out where cars are etc on the track and if that can work now another strategy that we did as well yesterday and it worked out a little bit slower but might be better with traffic was doing six six and then mediums and then hard so six six and then i think we did um 
six laps on the medium as well and then one lap on the hard so yeah you can try that strategy out or you could even go for maybe um, a slightly different version of doing that maybe reducing the amount of laps on on one of the first stints on the soft tire and going an extra lap on the mediums possibly with the lighter fuel in terms of fuel saving for this race you are not going to have to do a drastic amount of fuel saving it is a very minimal just a little bit short shifting and you might have to put one or two percent fuel in if you do have to put fuel in in this race it's not going to cost you a lot of time because even if it's five percent fuel ten percent fuel it's probably going to cost you 1.5 seconds in the pits which to be honest i think might be worth taking if you means you can push a hundred percent but yeah a little bit short shifting and you should be able to get all the way to the end of this race without having to worry too much about fuel just gradual short shifting a little bit shorter the rev limiter should get you there in the 08 car and obviously tire maintenance in this race like i say i think the maximum distance you really want to be putting on these soft tires is five laps you can extend that to six laps like i said with the um reduced pit stops but yeah i think it is better to pit on lap five and then get that undercut and do five laps on each of your soft tire and then maybe do a shorter stint on the mediums and a one lap on the hard i think that is going to be the the, the strongest strategy for this race especially with um if you're out at front i think definitely if you qualify in the front two you know two positions you really want to go with the maximum aggression strategy of going soft 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 medium hard but that's my advice for strategy hopefully this will help you out let me know in the comment section what you think about the advice if it's helping you out it's something i want to add into these track guide videos let me know if the track guide has helped you out as well in terms of your lap times i do like to hear that and anyway thanks for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification button so you don't miss any future videos thanks again for watching everyone